Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Today I have for you some more layouts from the lovely collection by Close to My Heart. This has been a really fun layout share. This is the last one of the lovely layouts, but I've really enjoyed sharing these. I've I enjoyed making them and I'm enjoying sharing them because I love this paper. They're all very floral and springy. This is the paper. Okay. Let's see, set that aside. So the first layout I have for you today, I've titled The Perfect Day. The layout example used Life is Beautiful, which I used that on another layout earlier, one of the green ones. And there's the example. Okay, I'll show this again. It's kind of faded. Okay, so for this one, it's got a white daisy back at eight and a half by 11 and a fourth, the flower stripe pattern, two of them at five by eight and a half. The bluebell strip is a half an inch by eight and a half. The floral strip up here is kind of uh, different sizes, but it, it is about two by eight and a fourth or eight and a half. Sorry. And it was die cut with this fancy border die. It is a close to my heart um, border die. I got this set, but this is the one that I used on that. Okay. Um, it do, did have to be cut and then um, cut again and then cut and cut again. So it does take a little bit of time to use those dies because they're kind of more geared towards cards, but they are really fun and worth it. It kind of reminds me of clouds up here. I wanted just a small amount of this right here. I didn't want a huge amount, so that's why it is as small as it is. I did top it with um, ballerina little bows. I used a lot of bows in this, this kit, a lot of bows. So the photo mats are Bluebell, and they are three and three fourths by five for these two, and three by four for these four. I just cut this down to two and three quarters by three and three quarters for the perfect day to use that as the title. I also use Picture My Life cards here not that they look like Picture My Life cards, but they had butterflies on them, and I just cut out the butterflies, did my standard glue down the center, and pop up the wings a little bit. So that is the first layout. The second one I'm going to share is one that I actually found uh, this idea online. It was a Christmas layout for... I want to say white pines. It was the one that they just brought back. So I believe it is white pines. Um, and I'd seen somebody who do this style and I thought, well, I really like the way this looks. Let's see what we can do. I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, out of all of them. It's probably not my favorite, but that is more with this piece than it is with this because I think it's a great way to show kind of some paper. Also, when I was doing this, I had plenty of this paper. I did not have much of these papers. And so this is a really good way of using up some of those little stashes at the end. You know, you have, you just got these little miscellaneous pieces. And so I kind of had to make sure that I was lining things up appropriately for the paper I had, not doing it the way it necessarily was in the example. Okay, so this one, again, white daisy, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The polka dot pattern is three by eight and a half, and there's two of those. This would also be an area where you could use leftover paper that you don't, you know, necessarily have a whole sheet of. Um, this white daisy strip, there's four of these at an eighth by eight and a half. And again, I mean, there's only a smidge showing, so if I didn't have a lot of that paper, I could... I could, you know, jerry-rig this. And then the ballerina strip, there's four of those at an eighth by eight and a half. So same thing. And it just kind of made this little area very nice and, and tidy. Okay, so then the striped pattern paper is technically two and a half by ten, but in my layout, it is two and a half by two and a half, and then one end is flagged. So these are both the same size of scraps I had. I just flagged that in. The next one 
is, again, it would be two and a half by 10 if I had an actual strip of paper. This one is one and three fourths by two and a half. Uh, actually, this is one and three fourths by two and a half, two and a half by two and a half, and two and a half by two and a half. And then the same thing over here, one and three fourths by two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half. So they're the same sizes for the most part. I mean, I know I have one that's a little smaller because I was trying to make this area here, but I just used a ruler and kind of guided along, along the strip to make it as even as possible so it looked like it was one continual strip. I then cut out the, <laughs> this was an interesting little, little thing. So I cut out the balloon piece on a picture of my life card and I cut out the celebrate the every day. I really like this title. Um, I didn't really like the balloons. Um, but I cut out the, the picture of my life card and then this is a balloon sticker from the sticker sheet and I cut around that. At first I was just overlaying it kind of like the one I did yesterday where, um, yeah, yesterday with the flower but it just was kind of offset and I didn't like that. So then I ended up cutting off the strings and just popping that. It's popped to, to it if you can see, there you go. It's not my favorite. The, the area isn't very big, um, and it, which is funny to say because I'm usually like, oh, everything's too big. On this one, I feel like it's too small and gets lost. So at some point I might change that. I'll probably keep the celebrate the every day and maybe move it somewhere. But yeah, out of all of the layouts, this is probably the only piece that I don't care for. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one aside. So the last layout, I know I said I only had two for today. I actually found the other layout. It was the first one I shared. Um, so I, I thought I'd had one and I couldn't find it, but. There you go, I found it. So this one right here, I don't have a title for. I'm just calling it Birdcage and Flowers until I figure out the title will probably go here. It might start here and go across. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what pictures, you know, again, I don't, I don't know where I'm headed with this layout. This is just as far as I've gotten at this point. So the background is White Daisy, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The light floral pattern here, which has those little butterflies, they're so cute, and the little white flowers. That is three and a half by 11 and a fourth. The sage is a fourth of an inch by 11 and a fourth, and there's two of those. The ballerina polka dot pattern. This end is three by six with the flagged end. Right here is about a half an inch by three, and here is three by three with a flagged end. I use scraps. That's what I had for this. That's what I used. That's why this photo mat is right up against there because I didn't have extras to go over here and make this long enough. So that's how I did this. If you had a full sheet of paper, three by eight and a half and then flagging this would be great. And then you could kind of center these photo mats a little more. Okay, so then I had two sage photo mats at three and three fourths by five and a fourth and three at three by four. These are from the sticker sheet. I believe this one. Yeah, these are from the sticker sheet. I made this one flat and I popped this one. I did not cut around it. I just kind of left it because I didn't want to cut around this one. So that's why that is, but I did pop that. And then I have two little heart stickers over here. So this is just waiting for the perfect title and that'll come as pictures show up in my life. Okay, so I have two more things to share and then I'll share some of the pieces I had. So this was layout number six that they did. It's called Joy and there's the example. I chose not to do this uh, for a couple reasons. One, I didn't want to have just this small, what is it? Uh, it'd be six by, well, on this one, 12. Um, I didn't want to just have six inches of a paper in the center of a layout. I don't care for that. And that's okay. It's a cute layout and it works for what she did. It just doesn't work for what I was doing. This one I think is adorable. I just didn't have enough paper. 
So that one, and I did do something with these two papers, I believe, together. I'm trying to remember. Um, I just didn't do this. So this one is adorable, and it's a great layout idea. And it's using those borders again. I mean, those borders are so cute, and they work so well. So, you know, run with them. Okay, the other thing I wanted to share was the project, products I did use. So here we have the bows, and I still, I believe that these are close to my heart. If they're not, I'm sorry, I don't know what company they're from. But there's a tiny one with the little wings, um, the middle size, and then the larger size. And this is a great set. I love the fact that this makes one bow. You cut this, you cut this, you got a bow. I have, um, like I said, before the Stampin' Up! punch, and you have to make two punches of it to make the bow and it makes this side and then this side and you have to glue them together and then layer them and then you have these pieces individually and then you have this piece individually. I love this die, it's a fantastic die. In fact, I think I pulled out, oh, I'm not seeing it. I thought I had pulled out my bigger bow that has the stitching. Um, let me do another cursory look around my desk. I thought I'd pulled it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I will have to share that another day. But it is a great die as well. It's just a little bigger. And I want, I liked this size. So this was the size I used. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. It was right here. Here it is. So I did make a bow out of that. As you can see, the little tape there. In fact, I'll show you. These are my leftover bits. I haven't had the heart to, to donate them yet. So this is the bow that this makes, which is a great bow. It is a beautiful bow. It's just very big. And then this is the bow. I just have a few, right? That this makes. So the size difference is quite significant for my needs. As you can see, I mean, that's, those are, a pretty big change. If I had used this bow, and now it's probably going to look silly as I'll get out, but let me grab that layout because I, I used pink on it, but look at the size there. That's just huge in comparison to this dainty little one. Now, some people might say, oh, I like this better because it's bigger. I'm not that person, but, you know, I see both sides on that. So, yeah, I have all these little tiny bows. I love them. They're so cute. All these little flowers that are, oh, well, there's another bow. Flowers that are already done. I had done them ahead of time because of the fact that I was, you know, just trying to get stuff done and we were working along. So this one right here, like I showed yesterday, is this size twice and then this size right here once. And then I cut a bunch of these little sage ones. And this is where I would take them and just clip it there. Sometimes I clipped it completely and would just kind of do that and then just kind of put them here. And then you have your leaves that match and they're not huge. You don't need them to be really big. I mean, you could do this bigger one, but I, I didn't feel the need. But yeah, I have all these little little pieces left over from when I did my lovely layout. So I kind of hope that there's another paper coming up soon that I can use these on. And, and maybe there is one that I just haven't figured out that I'm going to use these yet. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't hurt to cut extras when you're, when you're playing around. So those were the dies that I used. Um, again, I didn't use this one, but I wanted to share it just so you all could see that the difference in the sizes of the bows. And then here is, let's see, get rid of those. Here's that paper again. So we are all done with lovely. Thank you so much for coming today and, and seeing my layouts and finishing up this series with me. Tomorrow, I'm going to share the baby book I made for my youngest granddaughter. We've not put pictures in it yet. I'm still in the process of trying to get pictures from my daughter. Um, I just found out also she did not put pictures in the baby book I gave to her older daughter. So we've got two baby books that haven't even been, um, well, have been completed, but have not put a single picture in them. Um, so I'll share those and I might pull out some of the baby book I'm working on for my daughters 
I used Echo Park Baby Girl. I want to say this. She's two now. So it was about two years ago that I got this paper. And it feels like with the Echo Park paper that they're just kind of building on the paper. And so you could, you know, have a paper from two years ago and be continuing on with all of the papers. Now, um, the one I used for my girls and I'm using, I should say, for my girls is the Night Night Baby Girl collection from Pebbles. I bought a ton of that. I was at Creativation and I saw that line of paper and I immediately put in an order for quite a bit of packages of 25 pa sheet packages of that paper, as well as all the embellishments. And since I have ordered through Notions additional packs of that paper, um, just because I want to make sure all three of my girls have the same thing all the way through. I try to do things as equal as possible. But yeah, that is um, what I'm going to start sharing. I don't know how much of my girls baby books I'm going to be doing. It just depends on how far I get because I'm kind of working on all three of them at the same time, but yet I'm not. So it'll make sense tomorrow as I start sharing those. So thank you so much again for spending time with me. Please like and subscribe to my channel and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.